unto the Lord, ye sons of God. Bring unto the Lord glory and honor. So, the reading is from St. Paul, second epistle to the Corinthians. Brethren, since we are fellow workers, we entreat you also to not receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, at an acceptable season I hearken unto thee, and in a day of salvation I help thee. Behold, now is the acceptable season. Behold, now is the day of salvation, giving no occasion of stumbling in anything, that the ministry is not blamed, but in everything commanding ourselves. As ministers of God, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in vigils, in fast, in purity and in knowledge, in long suffering, in kindness, in the Holy Spirit, in love unfeigned, in the word of truth, in the power of God. By thy weapons of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by glory and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing, and yet possessing all things. We speak to thee, that readest. From the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us attend. The Lord spoke this parable. A man going on a journey called his servants and entrusted them to his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them, and he made five talents more. So also he who had two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug it in the ground and hid his master's money. Now after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also had the two talents, he came forward, saying, Master, you delivered to me two talents. Here I have made two talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. He also who had received the one talent came forward, saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man reaping where you did not sow, and gathering where you did not winnow. So I was afraid. I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sowed, and gathered where I had not winnowed. Then 
you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received what was mine with interest. So take the talent from him, and give it to him who has the ten talents. For to every one who has the will, more will be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness. There men will weep and gnash their teeth. As he said this, he called out, He who has ears to hear, let him hear.